What's up people, Cypher here, welcome back to Sector 2, Lost Crusade, and this is the Milestorm, and we are in the Outer Circle right here, and look at this, I've got me a level 7 super resource node, yeah, <laughs> I've managed to work my way a bit, I've run out of resource though, unfortunately, if I go into my alliance right now, yeah, my pink is on minimal. So I might get told off by the marshal. Because I haven't really been given authority to do this. I've kind of just went on a whim again. Since the relay opened, I've just kind of went on a renegade. And just sort of did things as I've did things. So far, so good. We've managed to do things well, though. Now, let's go to the events. Because there's all kinds of stuff now. We've got the holiday event, last day. So it's last day to gain your bits and bobs, last day to gain the chance of gaining your what is it? The tag and your scot and your frame. Yeah, so a law devotion frame and law devotion tag. As well as that, we've got the Imperial Ruins going on. Which has some bits and bobs that I got to claim. So let's claim those. And we're on day two. Which is Alliance Tech. And Alliance Help. And Beat Chaos Up. That's going to be a fun one in the war zone, isn't it? Ugh. As well as that. We've got this amazing bonus benefits right here. Flag of Honor. Reason for this Flag of Honor. And why it looks so cool. Right now we can donate to Alliance Research. Or... We could do expeditions and gain some of these. So maybe I'll do some expeditions right now and gain some. And we get to spin on the wheel. And you have a chance of gaining the golden as well as the new second wolf knight. So you need 10 of them. So it's going to be a bit of a mush to get these. But still, they're here. They're available. We've got to try and get them. <laughs> Alliance ranking still going. I really need to get on that. I am falling behind. Drastically. And I started so well. As well. Collect my little prizes for that. Enyo. I didn't catch the actual fight. However. We won. Again. So that is two wins in a row. Let's see if we can do three straight. If I don't watch it, it seems as though I actually get the chance of winning. So, I'm not going to watch it for a while. <laughs> just just let it pan out in it. Oh, look, Chaos Attack has appeared as well. Brilliant. So, we've got a lot going on. See? I'm not lying here. We've got missions after missions and events after events layered up on each other. Lovely. But they're all seeming to coincide nicely and working together. So you're unlocking a lot rather than just having to limit yourself and just choose between. That's something that's brilliant. So today is mainly going to be fixated on collecting resources to build back up what I've just spent, I think. Fun. Got two here. That one. No. That one. No. In all fairness, this time round, these are brilliant. This has been working absolutely brilliantly. Uh, it is a game of guessing rather than what seemed to be before get to the last one and you'll find it <laughs> seemed like a bit of a scam before like yeah get to the last one and then we'll give you what you're looking for you yeah there didn't seem like there was much of a search factor to it now there is definitely a search factor to it and it seems brilliant so far so good I'm starting to do my building again to try it this time I'm going to try and reach over another four plats and I could get this level seven fuel node problem is is that I've already put a plat down as soon as I put it down and sent a person to the deployment as soon as someone landed in the deployment ALL as they do went for the attack and destroyed it <laughs> silly clowns all they're doing really is destroying their own troops. We didn't take any losses. We were able to repair our defended troops. And they took losses. There's a nice load of troops that died because of it. So I can only appreciate them sacrificing their troops for us. Bit silly. 
what we call clownish. But I don't mind it because it just helped one of my members gain some points. <laughs> so they killed off 2,500 of diff deployment. They literally took out the same amount of power. <laughs> That's brilliant. So today's been pretty chill, to be perfectly honest. Even though there has been fights and we have got hit and I've got major repairs because of it. It's actually been... Like, I haven't been heavily, heavily on the game in the daytime part. Now it's coming to the late afternoon. I'm kind of back and I'm going to look about the place. But look, Guts is back in IRL. Guts is everywhere. He just wants to punch someone in the face. That's all that is. <laughs> Let's go to the events. What are we looking at the events? Holiday, holiday event is actually going to be gone by today. So we are done with it, and it has been a brilliant event, to be honest. It's been given a lot of uh, rewards through. And specifically, you, you're able, if you were like me, did just everything as best you could, you were able to actually get not only the frame, but the tag, and that does impress me. So we've successfully managed to get our little domain at least bran at least branching off. And making its way to areas to catch us some super nodes so that we can further mine these and gain more resources from it. Ah, check out Jim Bob. He just appeared from nowhere. <laughs> I'm guessing he's backing up. Oh, where's that coming from? Ah, he, he recalled. <laughs> this dude, he recalled. <laughs> What are you recalling for? Why did you just go all in? You seem set on attacking it. Silly duck. And it's only getting better. See, look. They're starting to really form up now. Hopefully this is going to be a battle, isn't it? Now I've been asked, as you can see in the comments right there, let's build. <laughs> okay, so I think I, I'm going to have to try and watch this fight. As well as build some platforms and hopefully defend the platforms while they're being built. Depends on how active it is. I'm only going to test it. I'll put one up and see what it's like in it. Oh my word. Now I have every bit of respect for AXD right now. Because seriously, these are some crazy bunch here. <laughs> these are the ones you don't want to be going near. It seems they're well crazy. So, inevitably it looks like that they are not giving up on trying to take this gate to the inner circle. It looked like they give up at first, but now I'm guessing that ain't the case. It's kind of an issue, though, because we're currently building platforms ourselves, and I'm just hoping that they're only just too busy right there to notice what we're doing over here. Because, <laughs> like, what? Is Logan still sat there? Yeah, he is. The nut is still sat there. Luckily, he's got a bubble on, so it's all cool. But it's still a bit dodgy to place platforms right now. Either way, I've got to do it. We're nearly there. Now, the most effective thing I've been finding so far is to just send your rebound deployment because most people are going to take so much damage off of that alone anyway that they don't really go for you, or they're less likely to, should I say. I'm not saying that they won't, I'm just saying they're less likely to. It's kind of a deterrent. We are the Sentinels of Terror, a bulwark against the darkness. Days. This is some dodginess, isn't it? They're over there getting obliterated, and while they're getting obliterated, it seems it's allowing us some form of possible passage to do that. But then you got to remember, ALL are the ones beating them up right now, and the ones that usually are going for us are SIN, SIN. So, <laughs> we just still got to be cautious. He's been blown up. Insane. I wonder if we can see a report for that. Oh no, 
AXD has been hit. By the looks of it, AXD are having a hard time here. It looks like they've been completely set back. Not only set back, but now you've got them literally exposed. You're only safe in your platforms if you don't have a shield on. If you have a shield on, you're safe anyway. But if you don't have a shield on and you're not in a platform, you're in trouble. And these ones here have all been sort of swallowed up to the ALL space. So it's a bit dodgy for them and they've basically got to try and hold their ground and they've got to try and rebuild but they have been they've taken a lot they've taken them all the way back yeah so axd are finding it very difficult right now whereas irl seem to be swimming lovely they seem to be going along fine in fact, they're deciding to take things on for themselves. For example, they've destroyed a base within CSZ. And they've come to take the super resource point. <laughs> and it seems as though they're actually succeeding in doing so. So, yeah, they're doing very well. And from what I can gather, DKA are also doing extremely well in terms of holding everything that they've got so so far so good with my sector everything seems to be going pretty okay except for the crazy all of sector one just renegading everybody so thank you very much for watching the video please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and comment if you'd like to much appreciated if you do bless up